So how do you increase the amount of luck in your life? In this video, I'll answer that question. What's good, y'all? My name is Cam. This is the part where I introduce myself. I'm not really used to doing that on YouTube yet, so I'll just say I talk about psychology, mindset, business, entrepreneurship, and other topics that are interesting to me. But back to the, the central question. How does one increase the luck in their lives? There's a researcher named Richard Wiseman who has a luck lab, the section of his building at the university where he does research that studies luck and our perceptions of it. And he ran a really interesting experiment. This experiment was focused on two groups of people, one group who self-reported as lucky and the other group who considered themselves unlucky. And he gave them a task. Now the task was the same in both cases. He handed them a newspaper and says, count the number of photographs in this newspaper. The people who consider themselves lucky, on average, finished the task after about 10 or 11 seconds. The group who considered themselves unlucky, on average, took them around two minutes to complete that task. What is the big difference? What explains that discrepancy? Well, it turns out that on page three of this newspaper, in massive text, the size of a full page ad, it said, there are 43 photographs in this newspaper. And the group who consider themselves lucky happened to notice that much more often. They tended to notice that, okay, 43 photographs, I'm just gonna hand in this task with the answer being 43. And the group that considered themselves unlucky missed that time and time again, and instead scoured the newspaper, counting every little photograph so they could get the right answer. Wiseman's takeaway here was that this is tied to openness. Openness is one of the big five personality traits. It's one of the things that repeats time after time in studies of psychology and what makes personality. And he said that personalities where people tend to be open to new experiences and aren't tunnel vision, tunnel focused on specific goals, tend to see more. They tend to see more opportunities. So what happened in his experiment was that the people who considered themselves lucky had a natural bias towards being open to seeing what's going on around them. They never lost the forest for the trees. And so when, in massive letters, right next to what they were doing, said, there's 43 photographs, they saw it. Whereas people who consider themselves unlucky, well, they tend to be incredibly focused on things and miss the larger picture of what's happening. Think about openness and your approach to the world. If you cultivate openness, openness to new people, to new experiences, what that's gonna lead to is opportunities. And opportunities are the things that lead directly to luck. So, takeaway here is be open to new experiences and new people if you want to increase the amount of luck in your life.